I'm not gonna lie, that'd probably be me in the background, I'll be honest. Because your crew just do nothing but laugh. Like, even this now, T.I.'s like, welcome to so much of Like, nobody takes it serious. It's, it, but you know what, though? What'd you say? Okay, now that's crazy. One bad pill got him. What you mean by that? It's three. He's, he's, but, telling, three. <laughs> he's telling the truth. Like, um, <laughs> nah, but you know, you know, it, it was more than that. It was actually I overdose. You feel what I'm saying? And um, I used the I used this platform with the with the thank God too. He's still laughing. The mechanics always laughing. So. Up, he's a, what? He's a mechanic. Dastardly <laughs> individual. <laughs> that is the most random excuse for insensitivity I've ever heard in my life. He a mechanic. Nigga, what the fuck that no, means? but why did you laugh? Cuz I get it. I understand. Some really fucked up shit happened and sometimes you gotta laugh. It wasn't really that bad. No, it was funny. I ain't gonna say that though. <laughs> Yo, oh my yeah, I'm a kinda fucked up. I'm not like I feel like I know when to laugh and when not to though. Like if the consensus is that we just like laughing and we can't not laugh, like it's uncontrollable. Like if you look at me, re like like, okay, for example, one of my friends said, you know, his mom was on drugs crazy when she had him. And as soon as he came out, I guess, like, he was, like, a crack baby or some shit. And then he told me, like, immediately after that, like, I almost died, like, seven times because I stopped breathing. I don't know why. Like, and, and he, listen, the thing is, though, the thing is, though, he was, like, explaining to me at the moment. It was just, he said it so, like, nonchalantly, like, out of the blue. So, to me, the information hit me like we was having a regular conversation. Like, the nigga basically said I almost died as soon as I was, as soon as I was born. And the concept of that to me was just so foreign that it made me burst out laughing. Then he looked at me confused, and that made me laugh even harder. Because now, you looking at me, and you don't know why I'm laughing, and I'm cracking up. I'm dying over here, as dead as you was as soon as you was born almost. And now I'm looking at you and you looking at me like I'm crazy, but now I really can't stop laughing. And then he was forced to laugh with me. So that's how we was like, okay, now we building on the trauma. But initially I'm like, dude, I'm sorry, I can't stop. Now that I'm here, it's impossible. It's impossible for me to stop now that I'm here. Okay, no, so you almost, so almost overdosed. <laughs> like, bro, you can't say that. That's what I'm saying. Matter, matter of fact ass niggas, bro, you can't say it like that. No, you saying I'm not shit. You can't say it like that. You gotta say it with a little finesse. If you want, like, I gotta fully take you serious. You know what I mean? That's why the abortion jokes low key be funny as fuck to me. Cause it's not, I don't, I'm not even down. Like, I'd be like, yo, let him live. But at the end of the day, it's just like, damn, like, the flush joke, sometimes it hit at the wrong time, though. That's all I'm saying. Not, it's not funny, but it is, depending on how you say it. I'm saying, no, I'm saying. It's just like Darnell Rowlings when he said his dad died in a story and Charlemagne started laughing. Nah, and that was just fucked up. That was just fucked up in general. That was just fucked up. I would never do that. That's crazy. Nigga dad dies and he telling me about the story? I would never. I, that's just, that's, that's fucked up. I could never do that. Yo, I did. No, you know what yeah. I mean? And, and, um. Yeah, word. All of, all of these things happened. The overdose. Um, my daughter was on drugs. And Damn. Ha! Huh. See, that's what's fucked up. See, not an old me. No, listen. I'm not. Stop. You're a super villain. No, stop, 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 stop. Ah! Mm. Ah! Now hold on. Oh, uh, uh, uh. oh, man. Okay. Stop. No, please, bro. Stop, please. Oh, my God. Don't put your hand on your mouth. My hand is nowhere near my mouth. I'm just saying. Hold on. Let me lift my head. 
Bro, oh my god. Y'all really going crazy for no reason. You can't say damn after someone says that. No, I can. Because that's crazy. Dog. See, it's just the things. Look at me. Bro, you can't do that. See, y'all really not, like, good people at the end of the day. Because... This is this is etiquette. This is this is this is like laugh etiquette. When you see your when you see your homie, right? And you know that they about to laugh. Stop. Look at us. Stop. When you see your man's, right? And you know they about to laugh. If you look if you look at them, dog, I swear to God. If you if you see your if you hear something fucked up and you look at your man's. Or you see your man's at the at the corner of your eye, and you turn your and you look, you are a fucked up nigga. That's all I'm saying. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. But if you look at your man's in that situation, you are a fucked up. So nigga. it's funny that my dad used to beat me. I mean, that's hilarious though. That's hilarious. It's you though. It's different. It don't hit the same. Somebody that I really respect got to tell me that they was abused for me to laugh. Okay, I know that sounds fucked up. I'm saying, like, they got to say it in a way that's crazy. I know how to finesse it to where we all going to get a laugh at the end of the day. But when he said what he just said, I'm not saying that I'm saying this, but I've heard a similar story. I've heard a similar story. You cold sure. No, I'm not. I heard a similar story, and what my man said, it wasn't me, I promise you. What my man said said at the time in response to the story that I had heard was like, damn, it running the family? So he said that, though, that's what it reminded me of, because this is not an uncommon story or situation. You feel what I'm saying? This is not uncommon. So what I was thinking in that moment was what he was saying. And then that's what it reminded me of. So that's why I had to put my head down because I was sharing an experience with me and my mans. But in general, like, that's fucked up. You know, that's 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 tragic. That's terrible. Like, you don't want that. That's crazy. Crack. Why are you saying that? He didn't say what type of drug or nothing. He just said EOD and then his daughter was on drugs. And that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Initially. You got to cut that off. Like, that's a serious subject. Like, you shouldn't laugh at that. But I'm just saying, internally, it might be a bit of a conflict. And, you know, career-wise, I wasn't where I was. See, he in the background laugh. See, this is crazy. You in the background laughing. <laughs> man, what is this? What's up with your man, man? Hey, you finna get slapped. <laughs> I mean, we cool, but I slap the shit out you by that. Oh, God. See, damn, damn, damn. Oh, my. See, shit. See, this is where shit might, um... Shit might go left. And you got you gotta accept responsibility. You gotta accept responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Look, look, look at look at Cud's face. Look at Cud's face. Like, he ain't expect that reaction. He ain't expect that. I mean, I was like, bro, I, I ain't even mean it like that. I, I ain't even mean it like that. I wouldn't even know this. Like, what like, like shit. Like, why you say it like that though? Like you expect me not to laugh? Then it's like Worst of all broke off a sky top. Yeah, he ain't even got a he ain't even got a fade. Like, why are you doing? Oh, it's okay. It don't matter because he ch he chilling at the end of the day. That's he that's that's bro. But I'm saying though, like now it's a situation where you either gotta fall like you gotta fall back and feel bad and let whoever this is get their shit off, or the inner man inside you is gonna be like, slap the shit out of who? It's like do I do I be empathetic and just say sorry? Or do I overlook the fact that I'm fucked up for laughing to stand on business as a man and tell this nigga, who you gonna slap the shit out? See, cause I'm, now I'm wrong, but now times two. And I'll bust that it's nigga. a, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a crazy situation to be in. Just say sorry. I mean, that sound good, but is it good? This is why I say naturally, I don't think we are good people. Y'all included. My bad. I don't know. Be a man or be a bitch. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, what do I do in this situation? This is a crazy situation. But everything y'all can learn from, I'm saying. I mean, we cool, but I slap the shit out you by that. Oh, oh, man. I'm just, I'm just telling you. We hey, cool. You slap me now. See? 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 Don't make me look crazy. Don't make me look crazy. I understand. What you want to do? Hey, you ain't going to slap me. Yeah, what you yeah, want to yeah, do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going down in here. I'm with the money, 
Man. Ah, man. Now you gotta you gotta stand on being the fucked up guy. Yeah. Silver drill. Come on. Y'all mean bank here though. Hey, listen. Hey, both of y'all. All oh, y'all. Everybody came in the motherfucker with me. Either be you or no die trying. Other be a young nigga or die trying. Everybody came in the motherfucker with me. Hey, look. Remember who you came in. Remember what we doing here, man. Come on, man. Let's get this shit together, bro. Two years old. Yeah. Oh, he's approaching four years. That's fire. Appreciate you, Chico. Like I was saying, three actually, three, three. I'm yeah. approaching four. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, uh, like all of these things. I'm such an immature little guy. I am. Cause the minute Ti start talking, like I wanted somebody in the room to be like, "Ain't nobody trying to hear that bullshit." My fault. But I just be wanting to see chaos mentally for a second. I'm always, I'm aware of the ramifications of what could happen if somebody say that. You know, I don't want to say that. I don't want nobody to say that. I do, but for like five seconds. In a simulation, I don't want it to actually go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, like who, who, what type of freak is always want to see some shit like that? Not me, but like for a second, and then I take it back. Things happen. That's why I love that movie Click so much. Cause like you could do shit, and then like if you didn't like the outcome, you could rewind time and then see a different outcome. I want to just that's I just want to explore. That's all. That's what I'm saying. What do you got to apologize for? Like, I smacked the shit out you. You talked about, you was laughing at me and my daughter situation. But he got to apologize if this is the type of shit that he let fly when the cameras are off. See, that's the difference. I see why he apologizing. I see why. Because at the end of the day, the nature of their relationship says that we laugh at fucked up shit to be happening to each other. So don't get weird when we get on cam, you know what I mean? I understand, though. It's not the right time. He was trying to be serious. Sometimes you got to read the room. Sometimes you got to read the room. Absolutely. Hey man, I want to apologize, my friend. I I got beside myself. I, I shouldn't have took feelings to that. It's all you know what I'm nah, you definitely should. You know that that life ain't just for everybody all the time, though. Some people are in that mode twenty four seven. He said, "You ain't gonna slap me now." So we gonna have good times. We gonna have bad times. Absolutely. You know. I wish I still had my dad in my life, bro. I just want to tell him to shut the fuck up so bad. Just in a moment where he's mad serious, though. Damn. I always wanted my dad to be like mad serious in one moment just for me to say shut the fuck up. Just because. I don't know why though. 